Remote desktop to Ubuntu or Linux is very easy to set up. It just requires a few simple steps. The first thing you will need is a remote desktop client and server-side setup. There are many different remote desktop clients available, but the two most popular are RDP and VNC. In previous videos of Minex, you learned to set up a VNC connection to a Linux server. This tutorial is about setting up a direct RDP connection from Ubuntu or Linux server. This method is more user-friendly and more convenient for users rather than the VNC method. You can use the RDP client to connect your remote VPS. RDP client is available for various operating systems such as Windows, Android, and iOS. Follow these steps with the tutorial. First, you have to deploy your virtual private server using any provider. If you want to get cheap VPS, check the article in the description. You will find all the cheap VPS providers there. For this tutorial, I use an ARM64 machine from the Oracle Cloud Platform. This is a free VPS with a 4-core processor and 24 GB RAM. If you want to know more details about this check this video. Let me quickly create a new server with Ubuntu 20.04 operating system. You can use this method for both AMD and ARM servers. I will speed up this process, you can slow down the video and watch it if you use Oracle Cloud. Now the server is up and running. Next you need to connect the server terminal by SSH. You can use any SSH client like Bitvise SSH or Putty. You can find the download links in the article also. Lastly, we get the terminal. Now start to configure RDP on the server side. I recommend you to follow the article in the description. All the commands and guidelines are in there. You just need to copy and paste the commands. First, you need to get root access to the server. Type this command for that. Next you need to add a user with administrator privileges. Use the addisser command then type a name for the new user account. It will ask you to enter a new password for the user account and you need to verify it afterward. This entry is not visible due to security reasons, just type the password and verify it. You can skip these questions by pressing the enter key. If this information is correct, you have to enter Y. OK your user is added to the system. You have to give administrator privileges for this server. Use this command for that. Remember to replace the username with your own username that you entered. We added a user with administrator privileges to this VPS. Before you install the graphical user interface of the Ubuntu server, you need to update the applications. Use this command to do that. Great, now you can install the Ubuntu desktop environment using this command. This allows users to interact with the graphical user interface, rather than a terminal. It takes some time to finish, so I will speed up the process. Next, you have to install the RDP on the server. Use this command. You can check whether XRDP is active or not using this command. Then activate the RDP port on the server side. Open the XRDP file using this command. Go down in the file until you meet port 3389. You have to change this line like this to enable RDP connection through this port. After the change, save the file and exit. Press Ctrl plus X to exit, it asks whether you want to save the changes, press Y to save changes. OK now you have to restart the XRDP application to apply the changes. Enter this command to restart it. If you are using the Oracle Cloud Server, you have to follow the next step also. 
For other VPS providers, this step is not necessary to do so. Oracle Cloud has been setting up an IP table inside the server by restricting outside connections. You have to modify it using this command. OK now we finish the setup process, just need to enable the RDP port in the firewall of the server. To connect to the server, you have to add TCP port 3389 to the firewall. This step may vary depending on the VPS provider. I will show you how to do it in Oracle Cloud. In Oracle Cloud, you should go to the subnet of the server and navigate to the security list. Then add a new ingress rule. Here you just need to select the protocol as RDP. But in other providers, you have to enter the source IP range like this and port it as TCP 3389. Great, now we are going to connect to the remote desktop from the Windows 10 machine. You can open any RDP client application. I use the default one. Enter the server's public IP address and click the connect button. Here you have to enter your username and the password that you added at the beginning of the process. It asks for the password again, enter it. OK now we are connected to the server you can use this Ubuntu 20.04 server with the graphical user interface. You can even connect it from your tab and mobile. In this video tutorial, we covered the steps needed to finish our remote desktop to the Ubuntu Linux server. If you any issues regarding the tutorial, open the question directly on the Minex community forum. Because most of the YouTube comments are missed from us. Hope you enjoy the video. Like, share, and subscribe to the channel for more awesome content like this. Thank you for watching Minex.